Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have seen how we can insert real-time database SDK in your application and after inserting or connecting with the Firebase real-time database, how you can insert the information and we have seen that these two information has been inserted by this application. Now I want to uh, display these information which is available in real time on my application. Means here I want to display. For that I have this animated visibility. So I have to check it to true and I have to pass the data to the result. I have designed this already in the previous video on designing time. So now I have to make the coding for that. For that when I click on display button here then I have to check the information. So what I do here I have a my ref dot child and here I need name of the person that I want to display record. So uh, I check first of all that if it is not empty so I can take on the basis of uh, we have a child information so I can have get here we have a get also okay so I will have the get record to display information then I say if success is there on successor I will have this information and on failure add on failure listener then I have this information so on failure I will uh, display toast that record not found record not found we can say this now if uh, we have some record so we have it it here so so what I do if exist so we match it if record exist like this then I say for we have it dot we have a children dot for each here and then we have the information like this now if exist and children we have for each we will run and I take uh, one uh, string variable also I say where data of data of a string buffer class like this now I say data dot append and here I say roll number equal to and here I plus it dot child and here I give the roll number dot value the roll number should be matched with this so we have a roll number then course then as number so roll number and then I need to call once again 2 and 3 so here I say then a student name then we have a student roll number then we have a student course like this and here I have to pass as name and I have to pass course then once again I have to print and I need to pass here a slash n for line break or we may have a line this then separate we will have another value now I need to display after all this and if the record exists so I say uh, check equal to true and I say result equal to 
data dot to string like this we have and result will display here in this text so i think we done and we try if it is successful then we may have the result so click on run uh, we may have uh, name said oh we have this also it and this is also it and this is also it so we can check uh, first of all we try to run if it is executing no problem you see we have the information no problem at all so for that what i do i have to press slash n also so after this uh, after this line slash n try to insert slash n here also and i need to insert slash n here also for line break and here also try to execute once again click on display you see we have a record record one and record two same record we have here also we are able to display this from the real-time database you see it is very very easy and we try to get all the record that is available on real-time database we may have a indivisible record also but in place of this get what i have to do i have to pass here ref dot child and then here we have to give the name which we want to display like i say dr webpin theotia record dot get so like this we may have means we may have this get but here we need to specify child on which we want to display record otherwise we can display all the record those are available on real time database so that's all in this video and i think you learn something from this video if you really learn anything please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video and see you in next video for updating information Thank you.